Welcome to another edition of, you guessed it, Joel Davis Media Network. While I'm on the move. I know, I know. I'm currently right now with my beautiful wife. She is under the weather. Please pray for her. I'm always under the dang weather. Yeah, this time it's the strep throat possibly got her. I don't know, man. And then we're supposed to be house hunting, so we're doing that as well. I will have uh when we do f lay it on something there will be pictures slash uh videos for my members only when we do find something so y'all can see how it looks and things of that nature and even uh my wife giving ideas of what she want to do to design but anyway i ain't here to talk about that i here to talk about chris rock special <laughs> guys <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I had a laugh and then I'm laughing at the same time. I have not seen it yet. But guess what? I am going to do my best to do a, a reaction video on it uh, sometime next week. Not next week. Sometime this week. Excuse me. Either It's either going to be on a Wednesday or possibly a Friday. One way or the other, I'm going to upload a video. April probably upload it on my channel for me if she's not busy or one of my kids but we will basically have the reaction of me saying my thoughts about chris rock's uh special because i want to see it now because now everybody in woke area want to kick his ass everybody now you would think they would want to kick his ass because of the fact of the matter he's talking shit about will and Jada's bald-headed ass, but it's not even that. No, no, no. They want to kick his ass because of Meghan Markle and the and the Prince. Y'all give me one second here. My wife is doing some business, so I'm going to put us on mute. Hold on. All right, so I'm back. My wife said, go ahead. We had to make sure that was taken care of. So anyway, they upset because Chris Rock basically said in his comedy special that he don't think that Meghan Markle really experienced any racism while she was a part of the royal family doing the royal duties in England, in the UK. We already had said that. Everybody had said that they felt like it was a lie. Not to mention... The memoir that Prince Henry wrote, which was the most bullshit, uh, disgusting, over-exaggerative memoir I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this guy even lied on his own penis. Who lies on their penis? I'm just saying. You said you knocked, you brought the boat with this older woman, and she don't even remember you. She don't even, don't even recall y'all even get to that point. And that's sad anything for clout now we already know what the real reason why that Meghan Markle left Thanks for the super chat, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank. Oh yeah. Don't you worry. We're gonna use it for more than just lunch. It's going all to the moving fund. I mean, I can't believe this shit. <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle has never, ever played any type of Hollywood thing or done anything to say that she was one of these actresses that was proud of being black. In fact, she always uh, passed off for being more of a white person. I mean, I'm not knocking somebody choosing to be white. That's your business. I mean, that's what your culture is and that's what you want to go with. That's fine. But she had a white father. All right, let's run this all down. I think her mother's mixed. 
her she was raised around mostly her siblings that are white she come she went to a school where it was majority white she's never been around black folks like that i mean come on and i know a lot of black folks that i'm friends with that never been around a lot of black people like that been around a lot of white folks and that's just fine and i know a lot of white people that i'm friends with that was raised with nothing but black people that's all they know and ain't nothing wrong with that you going by what the culture you're around right so why in the hell are we making it a big deal that all of a sudden somebody is trying to be something they're not Now I may have to mute between because we're doing business. Hold on. Shout out to my wife, Superwoman. Anyway, sorry about that delay, guys. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you're raised by a certain coach, you're going to act a certain way accordingly. My kids, my kids was raised around a lot of urban black folks, okay? My wife has a lot of black people she deal with, and that's why she sounds a little hood, okay? That's why she sounds hood. My kids sound hood. You know, when it comes out, you know, mind. and my my children sounds hood, you know, because that's what they was raised around. And you know what's crazy? The black hood folks that we that they raised around, they just as conservative as I am. They believe the same shit, you know, <laughs> respect over everything. So all of this woke talk is getting to be to the point of the matter. It makes no sense. It's nonsense. It's like me and my wife was laughing about the professor who said she wants it to be mandatory to have a week off each fucking year because she deals with racism. What racism are you dealing with, honey? You in Southern Illa fucking Noah and you're a professor. Okay? I'm back. I had to reconnect. I mean, what what what, what is your racism uh, excuse today? Trying to figure out whether you want a piece of fried chicken or a damn fried pork up at the fucking lunch cafeteria in front of some black lunch ladies? Or is it white folks too? I don't get this shit. I know one thing, I've experienced racism in my life when I was younger, but you don't see me running around here being a victim. I'm actually A-OK. -okay. It made me a better character. In fact, if someone called me the N-word today, I'll probably be just like those calm black folks you see in the video and tell them a piece about themselves in a nice, very conservative, well-deserved manner. I'm not gonna get a uh, 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 physical. I'm not gonna go out here and say, oh baby, get my bail money ready. I'm finna whoop me some ass. I mean, fuck all that. That's dumb. I know my worth. <laughs> I'll give me one second. My wife trying to get us some coffee. She trying to stay awake today. Because at the end of the day, all that is a word. That's all it is. It's just a word. So moving right along, we're going to talk about uh, Deion Sanders. Uh, we'll probably talk about some of this stuff tonight on my show at 11.
Now give me one moment. We almost done. Thank you. No, we do Thank you. So, uh, Deion Sanders uh, got up, got everybody in an uproar because of a statement he recently stated about recruiting. And he said that when he's recruiting, he likes to go into a home where uh, all of the uh, parents is in the home. Oh, Lord. Y'all give me a second. Yeah. Give me one more. Can I take your milk, please? Yes. All right, so anyway, get back to what I'm saying, guys. Sorry about that. My wife was handling business. Uh, anyway, everybody got upset because of the fact of the matter that he, Deion Sanders said that he wants to recruit young men in a two-parent home because they will listen and they will be more focused and they will respect discipline when it comes to doing what they need to do to be successful in college football to make it to the NFL. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Listen, my children come from a two-parent environment after my wife met me later on in life. My daughter, she has humility. She's not like some of these fast-ass little girls that comes from a non-two-parent home that when they mama or their father getting on to them, especially their mama getting on to them, they're saying shit like, I ain't got to listen to you. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ah, and all that. No, no. My daughter may get a little edgy. We have our edgy moments because, yes, my kids and me, we hood. We cuss each other the fuck out. But then when they, they know when I look and I have a certain look and, mom, and April got a certain look and shit about to get real, they'll shut up and listen. Because you know why? Because it's a two-parent system. They already know. If mama go look at me like that, I can imagine, if daddy looking at me like that, I can imagine what the farm's going to do or vice versa. That's a respect thing. See, that's the problem. These single mamas out here, they want to be so single. I don't need a man.com. That's why your child wind up in goddamn jail or on the news and you don't know how the hell to handle it. That's why your child go up here and when they do make it to the NFL, they can't handle fame and they fizz out in the first one or two years. I don't blame them. Having a two-parent system is amazing because they already know that when your ass show up on that football field, you got more than just 
mama to worry about. You got daddy too. Because nine times out of 10, daddy will show up and whoop your ass on that field. Daddy will show up and give you, well, excuse my expression, because we in a new era now where dad gonna give you tough love. Daddy gonna help make that, they'll get that extra job and take that money and pay for your college. He gonna look at you in between the eyes and say, okay, you wanna be a thug? You wanna act like you can't listen? Then you go figure it out. Oh, you wanna take your NIL money and spend it on stupid stuff and not invest? Guess what? When you go broke and don't make pro, don't come back home. See, that's that's what we need. We need tough love like that as fathers. We have to do that to our children. A mother's tough love is not the same as a father's own. Just saying. Because you know with your mama, even though she get tough love to you, she is going to sooner or later come back and be like, all right, baby, we'll make it work. A father tough love, he gonna make you go throw it, okay? Before he come back and say, all right, now I'm here for you. He gonna make you go through it. It ain't gonna be so quick. It ain't gonna be so fast. That's just how fathers are. But it produces what? Real stand-up people, men and women. That's why it goes back to the nuclear family. I don't know why these, new, these woke kids keep running from it. This is what America's been built on for the last fucking 300 plus years. 300 plus years, it's been working. Why would it not work now? Name me one instance where America was not built on standard values. Name me one instance where having a two, a nuclear family did not benefit an individual. Less than three, less than three percent, more than three. Um, I tell you what, I'd be nice. Give me an example where ten percent or more people did not benefit in America population for having a two, uh, a, 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 a nuclear family. You can't give it to me, cause nine out of ten is gonna be under ten percent. So you know the shit works. Ninety-seven point three percent of the time, you're going to be successful. If you got a two-parent household, with loving parents, so that's how I feel. I'm glad Deion Sanders waking up these these mothers and letting them know. You want your child to be successful in, then you need to start making choices. Quit opening your legs to damn badass men. I'm sick of that shit. I'm sick of hearing that story from women all the time. I made a mistake. You mean to tell me you made four or five different goddamn mistakes with four or five different baby men? Baby with, with men? Come on now. You, you can't tell me you did. I know out of two or three of them must have told you they didn't want to fuck with you. But you had to do it anyway. So quit that shit. Take accountability. Take accountability. Look your child in the eyes. Quit being a baby mama terrorist. Yes, son, I spread my legs because I did not want to be accountable. I wanted him for myself. I know he had a family. I know he didn't want me. I, but you're here now. And now he's not involved because of me and my decisions. So I have to do the right thing. I have to be mother and father to you. If y'all would do that, you wouldn't have all these damn baby mama. You wouldn't even be having all these kids going to jail and doing all this stupid shit. But y'all don't want to do that. Y'all want to always blame the man. He is not a good father. He was the one that did me wrong. Y'all better be better. I, well, I thank God that the woman I married ain't did no stupid shit like that. Because a lot of y'all women that do that kind of shit, y'all looking for a man to rescue you, and it's not going to happen. Because today's men are starting to become more and more single because they don't want the headache. I'm just being honest with you. It ain't like it is in the old days where a guy come through and say, all right, I take you on all these different personalities because I love you. It ain't get like that no more, man. If you ain't got one child with one man or two men at minimum, that's it's a wrap. 
These dudes now, and they hear, you got what? Three baby daddies? Four? They leaving. They, <laughs> shit. They don't even give you a chance to, to ask you for dinner. <laughs> How many baby daddies you got? Oh, man, I got to go. Uh, Something came up. That's the first thing they do. My wife, tell, my wife got friends going through this right now. My wife has friends right now that got multiple baby daddies. More than two that can't find a good man because of this shit. They ask her all the time, how did you do it? Because my wife kept her legs closed and did it the right way. Because she had parents. She had a mother and a damn father. And another father. I had another mom. I had all my Yeah, mom. she had multiple. I've had, I've had three mamas. Three mamas. Mama, and two stepmamas. Two step Yeah. She had multiple people in her life that believed. Don't be like this broad over here. Don't be like Rhonda Sue with four baby daddies by the time she's fucking 25 and running around here talking about, I need a good man, God help me. So yeah, thank God to the women and men that was in my wife's life that raised her the right way. And mine too. I'm telling y'all, man, the old school way is the best way. Y'all keep running for if you want to. Y'all keep following that new shit. Trump, having a throuple and all that bullshit. This is what you're going to keep getting. Your heart broken. Anyway, guys, we'll see you tonight at 11 p.m. If everything goes okay. I didn't change it yet because I ain't had time. It's been crazy at my house and us trying to find a place. But if you still see the upcoming show, it will be 11 o'clock tonight. I just got to go in and change it. I'll change it sometime today. So keep on the lookout. I put it on the community. Got okay. Uh, loving it, enjoying it. So yeah, and um, hopefully, if everything goes smooth, we'll try to do some on um, panel tonight. Everybody can just come on in and say what they feel, and you know, we just keep it ro rotating, baby. All right, please like, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Take care of yourself and each other. I'm spending the rest of my day with my fucking wife.